Hi, this is Polly from thefitmumformula.com and today I'm going to be explaining how to put together your very own weight loss meal plan. Now, of course, you can purchase meal plans from professionals like myself or others um, and you can cut and paste them off the internet, get them out of magazines. That's not to say they'll be the right one for you, but they can sometimes be useful. Um, my meal plans are specifically for women who want to lose weight and I've got 7 day, 21 day and 6 week meal plans. So if if you are interested in any of those, please do get in touch, Polly at thefitmumformula.com. But today I'm going to be explaining to you how you can put together your own meal plan from scratch. So, first of all, you want to have a think about your schedule. So, what you, how often you get to eat, do you have a lunch break at work, maybe you're a stay-at-home mum and you, your time is your own essentially during the day in terms of routine, you don't necessarily have to be anywhere at particular times. Perhaps you do shift work and that means you might actually be eating at night time and then sleeping during the day. So you need to have a think about what your day looks like and it might be different on say the weekend if you're not working then as well. And then you have to figure out how many meals a day you're going to be having. For some people three regular meals, uh, breakfast, lunch and evening meal is going to be about right. For others you might want snacks. Um, maybe you're a breakfast eater, maybe you're a breakfast skipper, and if you are a breakfast skipper, so long as you're eating well later on, it doesn't need, lead to things like muffins and hot chocolates mid-morning, then that's actually not so bad. Certain genetic times, uh, types and body types, um, it isn't so essential that you have breakfast, so you'll know whether that's you or not. So figure out how many meals you're going to eat each day, when you're going to eat these meals that works within your schedule because if it doesn't work within your life you won't stick to it so there's no point that's not to say that whatever you're doing in your plan isn't changeable later on if you need to tweak things but let's start as we mean to go on and try and figure out what works um, next step you can do and not everybody does this but it does help um, help you to um, get the right calorie amount for you and make sure that you're eating the right amount for your body and that's actually work out how many calories you need now it's not the simplest of calculations so what I actually suggest you doing is googling calorie requirements calculator on Google and it will bring you up various options of where you plug in things like your height your gender your weight, your current weight and your goal weight, um, what activity levels you do, whether you have a sedentary job or an active job, whether you actually do workouts or whether you don't do any workouts but you're on your feet all day, for example, if you're, if you're a waiter or, or a hairdresser or something. So you plug in all of those details. At the end of it, it will spit out a number of not only how many calories that you should be eating a day for either weight loss, weight maintenance, or weight gain, depending on your goals, but some of them actually offer macronutrient breakdown as well. So that's actually how many um, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats you need. When it comes to actually putting your meals together, if you don't understand those things so well and you don't know what um, carbohydrates, fats and proteins are in specific foods, I actually recommend using an app called MyFitnessPal because that is a database of all different foods, thousands of thousands of different foods, both branded and generic, and it has these breakdowns in them. So all you do is you punch in what you're gonna eat that day, maybe, um, a chicken breast, a sweet potato, um, an apple, whatever it is you're eating, and it'll tell you the breakdown. It'll tell you how many calories you're having and how many fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. So that way, that is one way of putting together a meal plan. Another way is to just start with a basic common sense template. It is not rocket science about if you're, especially if you're new to eating healthily and you've got a lot of weight to lose, a healthy meal plan does not have to be complicated. Don't don't worry about whether you need to go paleo or ketogenic or high carb, low carb, any of these things. Just use your common sense. Um, minimize junk food, eat mostly whole foods, make sure you've got some sort of protein that's meat, fish, eggs, dairy, pulses um, in all of your meals. Uh, protein powders and protein bars as well count if they're good quality ones. Um, lots of fruit and vegetables and around that apart from that as long as you've got plenty of protein plenty of pro uh, fruit and vegetables other things can be tweaked and can be variable depending on your needs so if you don't want to go down the whole counting calories route 
and counting macros really just start with a common sense meal plan of something similar that you might take out of a magazine because later on if it turns out it's not working so well for you uh, whether you're losing weight too quickly and you've got no energy or you're not losing weight at all or you're even gaining weight you can always tweak it later down the line so then you've got to think about what foods you actually like or dislike or know that make you feel good so you might really like burgers and chips, but if a McDonald's burger and chips makes you feel a little bit sluggish, then you know that that's not the best thing to have in your meal plan. Now for some people it's perfectly healthy foods that don't make them feel good. If you know that, say, milk for example gives you an upset tummy, then maybe you need to, um, maybe you've got a problem with dairy, you need to cut out that. But again, use your common sense. What do you really like eating? There's no hard and fast rules as long as you get a good variety. Include lots of that and don't include the things that you really, really despise. Try and include some some meat if you eat meat, um, some fish, some oily fish, some eggs, um, a variety of carbohydrate sources, so things like brown rice, quinoa, oats, um, dairy products if you can hand them, and of course plenty of fruits and vegetables. But beyond that, there's no you must eat these foods or you must avoid those foods. Lots of different diets will work, they're absolutely fine. Um, and then what I recommend you doing is keeping it really simple. If you're not using MyFitnessPal, then just use an Excel spreadsheet. So on the left hand side, um, running down the bottom, you're gonna put your, your meal type. So if you're somebody who eats just three main meals a day, you'll simply have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, if you're having more than that, you might wanna put your snacks in order as well. Maybe you have a snack mid-afternoon and a bedtime snack or maybe you have a morning snack and an afternoon snack. So whatever you have, put those down um, on the left hand side. And then across the top, put the days of the week. So you want um, a week is absolutely fine, any longer than that, and it's gonna get a bit big, um, difficult to print out, and it doesn't leave much room for tweaking it later down the line. So if you just do a week at a time, that works for most people. And most people do a weekly shop as well. So you do um, Monday to Sunday along the top, and then you literally fill it in, and then using that, take all the foods that you need, turn it in, write it in a shopping list, go shopping for an entire week's food, and there you have a meal plan of all your meals laid out for the week, and you've got your ship shopping list to go along with it. Now, if it all sounds completely overwhelming, too difficult, you don't have the time, or you don't have the inclination to do it yourself, that is where professionals like myself can come in and help you. And not only that, because we've got the additional nutritional knowledge and experience of working with people in the real world, um, I can probably, with a bit of information from you, point you in the right direction and make sure we're starting off with something that's quite realistic for you, that's both going to work, going to work with your lifestyle, going to make you feel good, going to get you the results you want and also includes all the, the foods that you like and, and things like that. So if, you're not, if you don't feel like doing it yourself, by all means get in touch, polly at thefitmomformula.com and we can have a chat about what's the best thing for you. But it's pretty simple really, it's not rocket science, don't make it too complicated, just think about what you're gonna eat, put it all in an Excel spreadsheet and then each week you can print out a blank sheet, write it again, tweak it if you need to, according to how you're feeling and your results you're getting and boom, you're done, you've got your very own weight loss meal plan. I hope that was helpful, that was Polly from thefitmomformula.com.